Okay, so let's go ahead and add the tracking system right here in the clear canvas. What we will do, we will simply create a UI button. Okay, and what we will do with this button, let me change this to normal mode. Okay, right here in the source image, let's add that there and then go inside the scene view okay here is the button let's click on set native size okay the button position is set now let's move this to the bottom left okay there it is i just actually move this middle or bottom right okay and let's move this up here okay if you see the button here it is now in the text let's change the text color to transparent or you can actually delete the text if you want now inside the script right here let's just remove that okay let's remove it and right down below let's create a enumerator by the name of let's just say car breaks in here what we will do when this is called we will set the present break force to the breaking force after that we will do that okay the break torque of all of the wheel colliders will be set to this present break force and this present break force is equal to 3000 depth and after this after applying the brakes we will say yield return new wait for seconds and we want to apply the brakes for two seconds you can change this to according to what you want and after that we will set the present brake force to 0f okay and after that we will do the same as we did up there so just copy that paste it down below now right here it said the present brake force to the braking force which is 3000 tap so now all of the wheel collider brake torque is set to 3000 tap after that we wait for two seconds okay in two seconds it will apply the brakes and after that we will set the present brake force to zero now all of the wheel colliders brake torque is set to zero okay and now in the apply brakes let's call this function so we will say start coroutine and let's call the car brake function in there that's it now right here let me actually change this to brake button and on the break button let's add a on click event let's drag and drop this first car right here and let's just select the apply break function okay let's save it now if we play the game actually select the first car and change it to d1 mode okay now let's play the game Okay, now as you can see present brake force is updating and the reason behind this is we have called the supply brakes in the update function just remove that from there okay or else every second it will apply brakes we don't want that we just want to apply the brakes when we press this ABS button okay now let's play the game you will notice when the game starts the braking force is zero okay let's accelerate now as you can see present acceleration now if you click on abs 
as you can see it apply the brakes and after two seconds the braking force is now set to zero now let's go ahead again okay let's apply the brakes again as you can see it applies the brakes now we can move again and we can apply brakes again as you can see so in this way you can make the braking system to your own car controller and now with our braking system done the whole car controller is actually completed and let me tell you one thing more that on the brake button add another event and then drag and drop the second car okay because if in the garage scene if you select the second car then for the second car if there is no on click event then this brake will not work for that because on both of these three cars we have the uh, player car control script attached separately okay so that's why you need to add this right here as well and then select the apply brake functions then add another event let's add the third car and basically you will need to do this for all of your cars okay in my case i have three cars if you have four or five then you will need to add this event for all of that cars okay or else the braking will not work on the other cars now if we go back in the garage scene let's open this up okay let's play a game from here now if you click on skip okay let's select the second car now you will notice that braking will work on this car as well Now we are running, let's apply brakes as you can see it is applying the brakes. So in this way you can apply the braking system to your own game and with this done catch you guys in the next video.